a large plant of Panasonic in Guma Prefecture. Being made in one area of this vast compound are refrigerated showcases used in convenience stores and supermarkets. As requirements differ depending on the customer, various types are made in small volumes. In a section of the production line, a strange sight. A person with a wearable device called Smart Glass is carrying out complex tasks one after another. An experienced worker, perhaps. The video is sent wirelessly from the tablet. What she's looking at is this. Pictures of the work process displayed one by one in order. A work manual with pictures. By using this, even a worker with no experience can carry out the tasks. In November last year, Panasonic began using this device on part of its assembly line. From the first unit to the second, you gradually become better at the task. By wearing this, workers can keep up with the assembly schedule from the first unit they work on. Here, a seasoned worker wearing a camera. The work is captured from her viewpoint with the footage used for the manual. Until now, there was a heavy emphasis on placing leaders or veterans next to new hires so that they can teach how to do things. With this, we can provide all the necessary information with just one picture. The assembly work comprises 800 or so processes. This is the workflow chart. If you connect all of the processes, it becomes this long. For a single worker to memorize all of the tasks is next to impossible. The manual used until now is a thick booklet. It has about 200 pages. If you forget how to do something, you have to stop and look at it again. The company plans to adopt this method for products with multiple designs, but small volumes. We want to pass on know-how digitally, including the transfer of skills. The turnover of workers at our overseas plants is high, so this will be a big help. Smart glasses captured the international spotlight with the launch of Google Glass. But this January, Google suddenly announced it would stop selling the consumer version of the product. One reason is said to be the privacy issue, and the company is believed to be focusing on developing a product for corporate use. In the corporate use wearable market, Japanese manufacturers are actually further ahead than rivals in many countries. As Google pulls back, they are jumping in to market their own products in the manufacturing and logistics industries. The lead Japan has taken in commercializing wearables is also attracting interest from software makers overseas. Welcome. The time is 6.47 a.m. This is a warehouse of the future. As part of a promotional video of their software, they are showing the potential applications of smart glasses. This company says it's impressed by the capabilities of Japanese manufacturers. Japanese manufacturers are ahead in some aspects. These products are still under development, but battery life has been improved, and problems such as the viewing angle are being fixed. Smart glasses are starting to be used in a variety of situations. Japan may be leading the way.